Do you want a content center as beautiful as this one? Well, let me show you how to do it. All right, the first thing you need to do is find one of the standard folders like this. Then I've just used Windows Snipping Tool. Copy. Now this is the hardest bit. You've got to go to your IT department and explain to them why you want to download a program that's called GIMP. So if you've got Photoshop, you're fine, but I haven't, so I use GIMP because it's free. New. I'm just going to paste that folder in there. Crop it. Press the C key. And then I just need to paint out this. So I'm going to use the pencil, control to get yellow, and just paint over that. Next I'm going to need an icon. So just go to the internet, search for an icon, this one will do. It doesn't really matter if it's bad quality, because it's going to be so small anyway. So I've just copied that image, paste it in here, it turns out it's massive. You can use this tool here, the scale tool, just click once in the middle. Holding control, I can just scale that right down. So it's somewhat like what I want. Click scale. And then I use the curves tool just to darken it down a bit. And then we want magic wand. Boom! Check that out. So what I can what I can do is I can just save this folder as it is. And then I've got a template for next time I want to do it. Otherwise, I just need to save this image. Now, if you're using the image at the time of publishing the part, you can use a JPEG or you can use a bitmap. But if it's already in Content Center and you're wanting to change the icon, it'll only accept a bitmap. So just bear that in mind. Export your icon back into Content Center Editor. Right click Category Properties and then in here. We can click this folder and we can put your new icon in. Boom! Don't forget to subscribe!